Thank you all. You know, I, I come to the stage with an almost immeasurable sense of gratitude to this association and to all of you for the opportunity to just have this little chance to serve the association and maybe leave it in a slightly better place. Behind me are the names of all the parks I had the great blessing to visit this year, just over 100. And they really represent the heart and soul of this association. It's just been, it's an, it's an emotional experience to visit these parks and to hear about their challenges and the, and the way they're teaming up to address them. Everywhere I went in this world, I was greeted with warmth and with affection by generous people who were generally appreciated the visit. And that was worldwide, which really rings home the one world, one IAPA. We are all in this together as one world, one industry, and one IAPA. And that was clear everywhere I went in this world. You know, whether big or small, we share the same challenges, or many similar challenges, but, you know, I've, known, I've learned that parks have their unique challenges as well. And if there's anything I took home to our group and Maury's peers as a learning was that, you know, the folks who are really successful are the ones who figure out how to address those challenges and stay in their lane. They respect tradition, they follow their tradition, but they innovate and they recreate and they create solutions for their own niche. And it, it is just, it was so educational to see that and so insightful. And, uh, you know, I've also learned that in many of those cases, the answer to the, to the issue was lying just around the corner. It was within their reach and they found it. And they did it by working together and by using the good resources of this organization and the network of all the people that I see here today. You know, I entered IAPA with the goal to learn and to have an opportunity to, to give something back. And as I've said to folks over the last couple weeks now, you know, I keep trying to give a little more back, and IAPA keeps giving me more. And it, you get to the point where you say, no, 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 I'm trying to give a little back now, but it keeps giving back more. I hope that you all will experience that as well as you work in committees and you work to support this great organization. You know, I'd like to thank the outstanding staff at IAPA. They've been so supportive of me. They, you know, they had a difficult case to work with, as far as I'm concerned. But they really, really pitched together. They've done an outstanding job. They're unified as a team, and they care so very much about this industry and about each and every one of you. I'd also like to thank the committee chairs and, the, and all the folks that are serving on committees. It is absolutely amazing the work they do. This is a member-driven organization, and it's the committees and the hard work on the committees that that make their way up through the organization to the board of directors that get things done here. So I want to thank the committees and the committee chairs for all your hard work. <laughs> and to the, my current board member colleagues and fellow chairs, thank you for all your support. You know, we all need to be supported to, to move forward with our futures, and I had tremendous support from the board of directors and from past chairs in helping to nurture me along, and I'm very thankful to them as well. And finally, I want to thank our outstanding Maurice Pierce staff. You know, they just, they not only pitched in and helped while I was gone, but they were in it in heart and spirit, and I'm so thankful for everything that they've done, and that even includes my brother Jack, who has been quietly petitioning for me to have somewhere between a two and three year chairmanship, but that's not happening, Jack. So, but thank you, uh, Jack, for all that you've done. You're, you're, you're one of the, uh, the most appreciated, irritating persons that I've ever met in my life. So. <laughs> uh, and, uh, and how could I move from the stage without thanking my wife, Janice, who, um, you know, there's a special place for you. <laughs> I have heard the word St. Janice uttered from time to time, but, but uh, thank you very much. And lastly, thank you each and every one of you for all that you do for this association, for your contribution. Every one of you makes a difference, and this industry needs every one of you to step forward, and I thank you for that commitment that you've made. And now it's time for us to say farewell and thank you to those board members who have completed their term. It's been an honor and a pleasure to work with them throughout the year. And they are Roland Mock, Europa Park, 
Ricardo Castillo, Itra, Francine Gonzalez, Great Wolf Resorts, Arjut Sengupta, Nico, Jack Mendez, BSR, and Clark Robinson. And it's now my honor to welcome a new class of members who have been elected by the IAPA Board of Directors. European Advisory Committee Chairman Andreas Anderson, Liseberg, Sweden. <laughs> North American Advisory Committee Chairman Richard Sanfilippo, Sam's Fun City. <laughs> Asia Pacific Advisory Committee Chairman Rachmat Santiono, PT Fun World. <laughs> and Latin American Advisory Committee Chairman Julio Venagas. Columbia Carousels. And our at-life, our at-large facility director, David Rosenberg, Monterey Bay Aquarium. And at-large facility director, Jim Pattison, Ripley Entertainment. And our manufacturer and supplier director, Sasha Chesbuka, Intamin, Lichtenstein. And our past chair representing the advisory board is Dennis Spiegel, ITPS. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, that's your new 2014 board of directors once again. And I'm proud to announce the new IAPA officers for 2014. They are chairman of the board, Mario Mamon. First Vice Chair, Gerardo Artiaga. <laughs> Treasurer, Rob Norris. And our President and CEO, Paul Nolan. Ladies and gentlemen, your 2014 IAPA <laughs> officers. <laughs> 